right, we continue our exploration of geometry A, Unit 7, Lesson 3, but this time we're going to approach it from a different point of view. Last time we uh, circumscribed a rectangle about the irregular triangle, and we found cut off or subtracted off the areas of right triangles and one little rectangle that uh, formed the form the triangle. I don't think I got the coordinates exactly the same as last time, so our result will be a little bit different, but the, the method will still work. This is, this is finding the same area by use of trapezoids. So let me remind you a little bit of trapezoids. A trapezoid, a trapezoid is a quadrilateral in which one pair of sides are parallel. We have base one and base two, and the other sides are not parallel, okay? And we have a height which is measured perpendicular to the bases, okay? And the formula for the area of a trapezoid is one-half the height times the bases added together. Okay, I won't go into the derivation of that formula, but that's the formula. Add the bases, add the two parallel sides, add the two parallel sides, multiply by the distance between them, and multiply by half. Now imagine, if you will, that we're talking about a trapezoid that has one perpendicular side, right? One vertical side, like this, base one and base two, and this is height. Now turn it on its side, and we get this. Okay. This is the height, this is base 1, and this is base 2. The formula is still the same. 1 half, 1 half, height times base 1 plus base 2. And so height isn't up and down. Height is the distance between the bases. Okay. So we're going to use that here in this particular problem. Now one of the reasons why I don't really prefer this method is this method really only works if the triangle is on one side of the x-axis. Or you could do it horizontally and have it on one side of the y-axis. But if it straddles the origin, or if the origin is inside the triangle, uh, this method really doesn't work very well. But let's go ahead and do this. So here's the idea. I'm going to draw vertical lines from each of the vertices down to the x-axis. Vertical lines down to the x-axis. So here we have a vertical line. There we got a vertical line from B. And here we got a vertical line from A. And you may already see the trapezoids that I've been talking about. Okay. So let's do one trapezoid in green here. So we might be interested in finding the area of this trapezoid, which we'll label as area 1 here. Okay, here we go. Try that again. There we go. All right. So we'll call this area 1. You'll notice its height here is 3, and its height here is 4. Its width here is 2, 4, 6, 8, 9. So the area, we'll call it area 1, is 1 half. The height, which is 9, times the bases added together, 3 plus 4. Okay. Half of 9 is 4.5. 3 plus 4 is 7. 4 times 7 is 28. Half times 7 is 3.5, so it's 31.5 square units. Okay. And now let's look at, let's do yellow here, this trapezoid on the right. Right here, going up between B and C. Wow, 
fun, 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 fun. Okay, definitely need graph paper for this lesson. Okay, so we got this. The height is 4 on the left, or the base is 4. And the base is 2, 4, 6, 8 on the right. And the height between them is 2. So we'll call this area 2. Area 2 is 1 half the height, the distance between the bases, 2, times the bases added together, 4 plus 8. Half of 2 is 1. 4 plus 8 is 12 square units. So we've got 31.5 square units and 12 square units. Now there remains one more thing to do, and that is to find the area of the whole large trapezoid. The large trapezoid. So we're going to find the area of the trapezoid formed by A and C. Okay, A and C. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to subtract off the small trapezoids from the large trapezoid. Call that a composite area. Small trapezoids minus large trapezoid. So we'll call this area large AL. So and the distance of between the, the bases is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11. So the area is 1 half of 11 times 3 plus 8. Half of 11 is 5.5. 3 plus 8 is 11. And actually I'm going to do it this way because this works better in my mind. 1 half of 11 times 11. 11 times 11 is 121. Half of 121 is 60.5 square units. So the area of the triangle, area of the triangle, is the area of the big trapezoid, the large, minus all of the area small areas, all the small areas. So the area of area one minus area two. So the area of the big triangle, of the triangle, is the large area, 60.5 minus 12, minus 31.5. 31, 41, 43.5, so 60.5 minus 43.5. All right, that's 10.5 plus 6.5, 17. 17 square units. Yeah, definitely smaller than last time. All right. Okay, so that's, that's kind of a summary of the trapezoid method for finding the area of a triangle. Again, it doesn't work very well if, if the triangle straddles the, the x-axis or the y-axis, or both actually, uh, in which case I would go to embedding it, it in a rectangle instead.